the sun is very bright. I'm squinting like this. Good morning, everyone. <laughs> Welcome back to another video. I can barely see you, Ryan. It's so bright out here. And being in that dark office doesn't help. Right. Um, so today, Remy, Steve, Rick, and Sean are in. Remy, Steve, and Rick are in the garden. Sean is in the office currently doing some flooring and today I'm going to finish the grouting in the kitchen. So I'm going to go and do that now while everyone's working and yeah, we can catch up with everyone throughout the day. So let's crack on. Hello Sean, how's it going? Hello Ron, not too bad mate. Good, good. What are you doing today? Today I'm in your office. You're in my office? Yeah, I'm doing the floor in your office. Very good indeed. You are the uh, floor... Chief floor liar. Yes, the floor expert, I would say. Well, so uh, The jury's out on that one, but... Well, I think you've done a... <laughs> would you like to have a look? Yeah, well, you've done, done a fantastic so job in the hallway. Yeah. Uh, so let's have a look at your wonderful handiwork. Well, Check it out. Transformation. It's already looking so much better, yeah. Real it's good stuff. Amazing. Good quality as well. It is, it is. It's very Aren't good weary. stuff. And obviously it's much cheaper than uh, real wood. It is, yeah. So it's uh, cost efficient as well, cost effective. Yeah, it's yeah. got a, a real hard surface yeah, on this. There it's, it is. Uh, in actual fact, you can see sparks fly when you cut this with the chop saw. Oh really? Yeah. Well, let's yeah, have a look. It's got some sort of grit in it. Right. Hard wearing, but uh, Very good. hopefully we should have the majority of this down for you today. Excellent. And, uh, I'll let you crack on then, Sean. Okay, mate, yeah. Perfect. What are you doing? What am I doing? I am just prepping the kitchen worktop again to start doing the grouting joints of these beautiful tiles. I have an anthracite colour um, grout. I need to go and mix that in a minute, but it's going to sort of match the units. It's not completely black, but it's anthracite. So yeah, it should look good. It's more of a dark grey. But it's the best I can find locally without driving for about an hour, so doesn't matter. There we go. There we go. We don't want no mess, do we? Um, for grease, grease anthracite and noir, I need a litre and a quarter. Okay. Perfect. Let's open it up. Right, I'm not going to put all of it because I think it's a bit too much. Only the best for our grout at the convent. Well, actually, I'm using this and I filled it up with tap water because it says exactly a litre. So it's just for measuring. <laughs> grout, got my spatula, oh it's gone lovely and thick, oh that's perfect, oh yeah that's exactly what I wanted. What do you think Ryan? It's very really black. Blast. It's very black. It is isn't it? But what you do is, you do an area, a largest area, you force it all in, it's all in like this. Oh, I've already put some. Keep getting it in the hole. Then what? That's it. That's oh. how it's. That's it. That's how it looks now. What do you think of the? Not <laughs> only really joking. Right, so you use your sponge and then you remove the excess. 
incredibly messy work that you end up with. Can you sort of see? Yeah. Yeah. Maybe I'm applying too much, but. You can see the lovely grout. Very, very messy job. But it's going on all right. Once I've got the grout in, I give it a bit of a clean. See, I've already done half of the back and on the sort of side now. And then keep cleaning it. And once um, most of it's done, I'll come back in with really clean water and just keep going over it. Doesn't matter about the stain on the walls because it's all got to be painted anyway, but I'll rub that off. But yeah. You're doing a fine job, Billy. Is this your first time grouting? No. I used to use an epoxy resin grout and it would go off too quickly. So now I'm just using the normal stuff, but it's fine. It's just a kitchen. Yeah. It's just a kitchen, but it's starting to look like a very nice kitchen, Billy. Yeah. If not, I may say so. Not at the moment. Wait until it's all clean and the grout's done, it should be okay. I just hope this stuff doesn't go too hard too quickly, otherwise I'll have to stop and go and buy some more. How's it going? Really, really good. I've done half, and now I'm doing the other half. It's just very, very messy. But as soon as I get all the grout in the tiles, then I can just worry about cleaning up this mess and getting it all lovely and neat and tidy because I hate mess. Ooh. Sean! Oh there again. Hi. We are coming to the end. Look at that amazing progress. Transformation. You're doing a great job. How are you finding it? Easy. Is it really? Yeah, too, too easy really. Oh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> These angles, you know, they're so yeah. easy. You just, well, you, you're it. making it look easy, Sean. That's what I will say. Uh, you cut an angle, you cut a straight piece, just the same and it's a measure and a mark. It's yeah. as simple as that. Good man. Right, well, I'll let you continue because you're almost finished almost there, uh, in mate, this yeah. room. A few more cuts here. This yeah. is the tricky bit, the last bit. Scribe it in, but uh, yeah, it's gone down really nice. Very good. Okay, I'll let you come. the off. best for you, mate. You know, I've got 100% in this room. <laughs> Ils veulent savoir un peu l'histoire du, du couvent, euh, comment c'était euh, dans le <coughs> temps. Donc, euh, bah, allez-y, je vous laisse, je vous laisse expliquer. Eh c'est par l'intermédiaire de mon employeur, comme j'étais amené à amener les repas pour les personnes, âgées, enfin, les personnes de, de la communauté, puisque l'on travaillait longtemps. Euh, <coughs> L'hospice a été transféré sur l'hôpital, donc il y avait soin des patients. Et en contrepartie, pour leur retraite, qu'à la fin de leur jour, on leur offrait à manger. Donc on leur apportait le repas euh, quotidiennement. Y compris, il avait le linge euh, ouais. pendant et, un certain nombre d'années. Et ça, c'était il y a ça combien de temps 22 ans. Aujourd'hui, j'en ai 56. D'accord. C'est pour ça que ça me rappelle pas mal de belles choses euh, ouais. de l'époque. Ouais. D'accord. Et euh, est-ce que ça a beaucoup changé dans le temps, le couvent <coughs> Non, ça n'a pas beaucoup changé. Hein. Non, tel que je l'ai connu, par contre, ça a été abandonné entre deux. Quoi. Voilà. Ouais, ça ouais. dommage. D'accord. Rien n'a été fait. J'ai reconnu la cuisine. Euh, et puis c'est la réserve pour les légumes, parce que ça m'arrivait d'emmener quelques légumes en réserve. Ouais. Mais, mais c'est tout ce que je me souviens. Et puis une fois, j'avais été voir la chapelle, quoi, par les sœurs. Que les ouais. sœurs sont très communauté, donc on parle là, à emmener n'importe qui, n'importe quand. Donc, je suis très vigilante là-dessus. Mais vous me connaissez, il du temps. Quoi. Ouais. D'accord. Le hasard a fait que bien des années plus tard, le, voilà, le retour. Exactement. Ouais. Et vous êtes le bienvenu, hein, bien sûr. Ah, oui, bien sûr oui. <rire> Très bien. Bah, merci, merci de nous Ryan. avoir raconté. Billy. Ryan. I've just had a fantastic conversation with Rimi. Yeah. Uh, the gentleman who comes mm -hmm. here gardening. Mm -hmm. But um, he didn't actually introduce himself. So just could you refresh everyone, who is Rimi? Rimi is a family friend who we met through the chateau when we first bought it. He was introduced to us and his family lived and maintained the chateau um, since it was owned by a family in the 1920s, the Pellier family. Uh -huh. So they were the caretakers of the chateau and the whole family lived in the outbuildings. Yes. A bit like us now. Um, so yeah, he was introduced to us and you know, 
it's been helping us ever since. Yeah. He comes and helps us maintain the woods. Um, and since we've bought the convent, he's been very interested in this project as well because he knows of it. Well, since he used to come here. Yeah, he used the, to... the viewers actually know already because I've already oh, okay. played a clip to him. Yeah, I've heard the story from him, yeah. Yeah, amazing, isn't it? Yeah, he's a really interesting fellow, yeah. He, he told is. us the history about everything. Also, mm -hmm. the kitchen's looking lovely. You've finished the grouting. Yeah, I finished the grouting. I'm just going to do a little bit of cutting in, but I am going to caulk around the edge of the tiles to make it more neater and presentable. But I'm just doing this quickly, just to... where I've sort of gone over the wall with the grout. Fantastic. Looks good. Yeah, well done you. Got paint on me. Oh no. Making a mess. Oh no. Yeah. Okay, catch you later. Catch you later. Hey Rick. Hey mate. How's it going? It's doing really well. We've had a productive day. We've been out in the garden today, chopping trees down, pulling down ivy, brambles, and then we're just having a side of it at the end of the day. Good man, yeah. I haven't actually uh, talked to you much today. I know. Um, yeah. Why? Well, I, I don't know, I've just been watching you from a distance. Watching your hard work, you're doing great. Thank you. Um, so I'll, I'll, I'll just, I'll let you carry on with your... your trusty broom. Yeah, your trusty broom. <laughs> and uh, I'll see you later. All right, thanks, mate. What you doing, Bill? I'm just printing another print. We managed to get a few more done the other day when we weren't filming for this vlog. So I'm just going to print this new one, which is beautiful by the way. It's Chateau de Chevin, Chevenon, Chevenon. Yeah. Is, it, is it going to come out sideways? No, it's going to come sideways on the paper, yeah, but then it's portrait, not landscape. Ah. Do you understand? Yeah. Right, so I push print there. Have I got the correct printer set up? You're clever, you are. Print. Okay. Okay, I've done all the settings. Printing, okay. You sure your fancy new printer's not broken, Billy? No, of course not, it's brand new. So why is it not printing? It's sending the file from the computer to the printer, and this file is so highly scanned, the resolution is insane. That file is one gigabyte. One gigabyte? Yeah, sending it to this printer, because I'm doing them in the highest resolution that I can get possibly. So we're scanning them. But we're scanning them not once, sometimes three times. Oh, yeah, here it goes. So basically, you're getting it really good, um, the best quality possible is what you want. Even higher resolution than the original. Wow. This printer is really interesting as well because when it um, takes the print printer paper through the printer head, it uses suction to get the paper completely flat. Ah. Oh. What do you think? <gasps> There's a bit of dirt on it, sorry. Wow. Do you like? Yes. It's very nice, Billy. Beautiful, beautiful. Wonderful. Another welcome addition to the convent. I don't like the frames. I like the style of the frames, but the glass um, shows too much reflection. And it's actually plexiglass, not glass. And the um, frame is a little bit too short. Yes. So at some point we'll have to change those. Okay. Yeah. But other than that, they're fine for the office. Happy with that, looks nice. 